flaming hours I had to wait just to tell Father O'Leary I pinched a macaroon off the canteen tea trolley. <laughs> and I'm still the one who's peeling the spuds. I bet she's stopping out on purpose. I bet she's having a gin and tonic somewhere with that twit with the elephant's trunk for her nose. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's forgotten the key, too. Miss Sandra Hodgson. Miss Beryl Hennessy. Does she live here? Yes, when she's at home. Right then. Perhaps you'll uh, just take delivery of this, will you? What is it? What is it? It looks like a coffin on wheels. What it is is the purchaser's business. If you'll just sign. Oh well, now I don't know about that. I mean, uh, there might be a body in there. Look, it's near a body and it's near a coffin, so will you just sign, please? Oh, yes, anything for you, Chucky. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Hey, just tell us one thing. What? Who makes you wear them? Who makes you wear that? <laughs> uh, delivery service. They're not fellas, they're storks. Hey, <laughs> are you fellas like... We are fellas that'll be giving you a good schmack bum if you don't stop trying to take the rise. What is it? Okay. Whatever has she bought? Anybody there? Oh, for wheels. Okay. What do you think oh. you're Burton. Everton to win the cup. No, I mean above all. Oh, well, if I had to choose Everton to win the cup. <laughs> marriage, Beryl. Marriage. Marriage? You, you do... That's a bottom drawer on wheels. <laughs> if you like to call it that. Granny had one, Mummy had one, and now I've got one. I sound to ever heard of anybody having a bottom drawer in this day and age. They went out with Aspidistras and the Beatles. <laughs> they did not. Lots of girls have them. So that's what your secret shopping was. <gasps> oh, stand all because of those silly horoscopes. It was not because of that horoscope. Of course it was. That's why you went out, out dressed up like that, like a green banana. <laughs> so wonder somebody didn't peel you. You're asking for everything new except marriage in that lot. All that horoscope did was to remind me that, well, I will get married one day. Before the end of the week. I didn't mean that, but you never know, do you? You have to be ready. You might get run over. Are you ready for that? <laughs> Beryl, you have to prepare for marriage. And I'm preparing by buying things in the sale to put in here. What sort of things? Oh, I don't know. Tablecloths, pillowcases, sheets, tap. I know. I can start with those beautiful hand-embroidered table napkins me Auntie Winifred gave me for Christmas. Oh, yes, and I can buy you some pan scrubbers and some dishcloths for next Christmas. Oh, that sort of thing is bound to turn a fella on. All right, Sarky. It's not all I'll be putting in there. There'll be nighties and frilly undies. But they'll be out of date by the time you get your proposal. <laughs> Underwear doesn't date, Beryl. You wouldn't say that if you saw my mum's bloomers on the land. <laughs> Hope we don't go back to those. Well, all I can say is I wouldn't start a bottom drawer, not even for Roger McGough. Let 
alone some fellas I've never even met. Nobody's asking you to, Beryl. No, but I expect you'll expect me to come shopping with you this afternoon. If you want to. Right. I will on one condition. What? You finish those chips. Oh, Beryl, you are home first. Yes, but if you are so keen on being a housewife, get on with the housework. What about my gear? Come on, you can have this. Come on. Oh, there all you go. right, then. Bet you've cut them too thick anyway. Go on. Oh, my goodness. If she's got to fill this before she gets married, we'll be wheeling her down the aisle in a bath chair. <laughs> I'm afraid you did, madam. I'm not a madam, I'm a miss. One tablecloth, one set of pillowcases, one hand towel, one nightdress. I got them for us. Eh? Well, you see, I... Oh, you wouldn't understand. Well, what I do understand is, our store detective here says you placed all these articles in your bag and made no attempt to pay for them. I thought I can't see how it was mine. I'm very sorry, sir. Oh, go get that to your typing. Just... Now, listen. I know what you're all thinking, but I paid for every one of those things, and there are the tickets to prove it. Night dresses, underwear, tea towels, sheets, right? And you, as for you, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Going around staring at innocent birds looking like Engelbert Humperdinck. Hey, now look here, young lady. I'm... Oh, and we'll have our arguments <laughs> back. I'm not arguing with you. Come on, Sandra, love. Oh, Beryl. Oh, come on, love. <laughs> 145 for a nighty. No one reporting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry to say it wasn't my fault. I'm sorry, I sir. I think this is what I'm going to say for him. I'm the only one here. Where is she then? Uh, she's having her breakfast, if it's all right with you. Can I see her? What for? Well, I'll tell her that. Oh, come on, you better come in. Here's your young and lovely. Oh, yeah, Ta. Uh, there's something I want to tell you. What is it? When I'm old and grown up like you, I'm going to marry you. <laughs> oh, Sam. Oh, you just proposed. <laughs> hey, listen. Listen. You got captured yesterday in that, that store with that fella. And today you've just...
just had your proposal, your horoscope's come true. Oh, yeah, it did, didn't it? <laughs> hey, Banksy first this week. Oh, no, Beryl. Oh, yes, oh, oh, you'll be fair. <laughs>